Yo guys, what's up? Welcome back to the YouTube channel today. And for today's video, we got something hella special, bro. I got to go to the Treyarch Studios and I got to see what's coming for season two. Yes, I know. Shout out to Treyarch. I appreciate them letting me come through. You know what I'm saying? But there's a lot of dope and awesome news. And I think you guys are gonna really, really enjoy season two, bro. Honestly, right off the bat, first and foremost, I wanna tell you just the best thing you're gonna see right now. It's probably gonna be all over the news, all over Twitter, all over TikTok, whatever. Ranked Resurgence is here oh my god oh my god <laughs> yes so rank play resurgence is coming season two by the way that's dropping next wednesday it's not here today but season two uh, update there's gonna be rank play resurgence it won't be big map it's not here yet it's gonna be coming in a little bit in the future this will be the first time ever we have a rank play resurgence and it's going to be on the return of fortunes keep so it's gonna be super awesome a lot of fun and there's some gameplay here that you are seeing right now or you're gonna see you know shows me on the map playing and you know just doing the rank system so the first thing i want to talk about is uh the battle pass season two you know what i'm saying new guns and stuff like that so there's two new guns that's coming uh it's going to be the ram 9 not the 7 the ram 9 as the smg by the way none of the guns were like ranked up so i couldn't really like use a class out of with it but you know i just got the shooting fire range so it should be pretty good but i don't really know how good it is the bp50 is another new ar that's coming to the game it reminds me of the f 2000 i believe from mw2 if you guys know you know um uh, all assault rifle i'm not gonna lie back in the day it was trash but when i was using it it felt like no recoil i shot the fire range and i also did get to like get a kill in um the rank play gameplay and i got to use it for a little bit the other thing that you're going to be seeing is going to be the battle pass stuff or also the walking dead bundle so the walking dead is like here it's gonna be in season two so you got to see the rick grimes skin and uh also he has a black cell skin as well so that's pretty dope i'm not gonna cap i never seen the walking dead i know l maybe i'll start watching it now but if you guys are big walking dead fans it is coming to the game so yeah little collaborations will be there and then there's some hella hella dope bundles and even black cell i'm not gonna lie the black cell has been pretty fire this year in the, the battle pass that you can get from just grinding the battle pass and if you get black cell whatever it's like a new ghost skin bro it's like hella freaking fire but i, I, I fuck with it heavy but i know the biggest thing you guys want to hear and talk about uh, is basically just the rank uh resurgence mode um for fortune keep to be honest bro like you know with everything i've seen uh, there is still like a little bit of difference. So one thing that is going to be coming to rank resurgence is as you guys know, you keep coming back um, with the resurgence timer. So one thing that's going to be a new uh, nuance in it that you will see probably at the end of games uh, will be you get a death penalty. So every time you take a death, you get minus SR. So it makes you actually value your life way more um, than just kind of going in and floating, which I think is really awesome. And so in the how to play when it updates i can't remember all the numbers off the top of my head but in the how to play when there's a new update you can see how they're doing the scoring system with the sr and i know like within each division the higher the division you go the more sr you can lose with your death penalty so it makes you value your life another thing off rip that they did show is uh there's going to be sr challenges now the sr challenges aren't going to be like able like you can just like redo over and over and over again um so that is one thing which is pretty cool but it's great for like a kickstarter so people who don't get to play the game as much like bro if you get like a top five or a top one win um you get some challenges and you get sr for it you get a lot of sr for it you can honestly go from bronze to damn near gold or silver like a high silver in one game depending how good you play and like where you place and you get a lot of kills so and it keeps you kind of like want to keep playing and stuff like that which i i really do like also like i said there's the different scoring systems um another thing is like you get more you get more sr points the longer you stay sur uh, surviving so if you get to like the top five or like the top 10 for each kill i think it goes up sr points so i think it starts with like three or five and then if you get to like um the, like you say you're like the top five team and you are in the final zone whatever case may be every kill is like a plus seven and then like even like the kills by teammates are also added as well so like i said i can't remember everything on the top of my head but like i said the how to play is going to show you all the scoring systems um the rank systems is virtually the same you know with bronze silver gold um plat diamond crim iridescent top 250. also there's gonna be rewards in it you know for the operator skins um also the calling cards the emblems and i think there's gonna be difference like a difference between like the emblems that you get in multiplayer that you get in resurgence so there's going to be a distinct difference uh i think in the operator if i'm not mistaken maybe it's the emblem i can't remember uh maybe it's calling card 
but there will be a difference where like it's kind of like you know i i you know what you got this from resurgence or you know you got this rank from multiplayer so that's pretty cool as well and hopefully in the future they'll keep adding more rewards for us to go for hopefully there will be camos uh along with like new operator skins and stuff like that um maybe even like i don't know like different gloves or something like that just to like know that what you grinded for was like really worth it but uh another thing is too uh with fortune keep the map in general uh it's like broken down so last fortune keep or whenever it was ago a while ago you know you had like the gates right but the gate is like broken down um they there's now the water element because at the time when fortress keep was out there wasn't a water element now there's a water element um that's coming to the game there's also like this throne room now i didn't get to find this in the game but there's this throne room oh uh, it's kind of like a vault how it was before like in the nakatomi building in verdance uh, which i believe has like a lot of like riches and like you know high tier loot zone and stuff like that i truly don't know where it's at i want to say it is like in the in the castle in the keep in the throne room but i really couldn't tell um because i didn't get a chance to explore it but i know it will be there but real quick i just kind of want to talk about like lastly like kind of like my personal opinion about it i'm very very excited for a uh, resurgence ranked i don't know where that's going to go for the future maybe we'll see the world season war zone can go to resurgence maybe say it's big map um uh, like with having 51 players i can see in my mind it going like in a way of apex so uh i would love to see in the future in a few months you know whenever rebirth drops when they announce it and they you know they bring it out um i could i would love to see like a rotation map of rebirth um vondel and fortunes keep i think those are some of the best maps you can have for a resurgence ranked and you kind of just kind of buffer through those throughout often um i think resurgence rank will also have like a pretty big players uh pool um because now you know you're taking ways where you can like separate the two you can separate pubs from ranked and i think with the sr system and so raven software treyarch and high moon and all these guys really paying attention to our feedback i think they're trying to make a difference between like what you get in pubs than what you do in ranked um like even like little things like there's like a lot of things that's going to be coming in the passion so i don't know off the top of my head but like just like different loot things and loot zones and flares and stuff like that that they'll probably add or you know what i'm saying get rid of that you know seems like what feels like a little different and like a more competitive system there's also only 51 players in a uh, ranked i don't know how well that will work maybe it should work pretty well i think you'll get in fast games and i also think it will keep people within their player pool of who they're supposed to play so the one problem is because of al mazra it was 150 players on ranked you could be a silver playing against a top 250 well with only 51 players in fortune's keep hopefully you only get to play you know what i'm saying silvers if you're a silver you only play as high as diamond you're not playing crims or top 250 but if you're crim or top 250 you're probably going to play crim or top 250 or iridescent players rather than you know silver or bronze so um i think the the pool of like games and matchmaking will be a lot better throughout time um with this process but i don't know i'm pretty excited bro uh i think fortune's keep is a really good map i actually did like fortune's keep i thought it was one of the best um maps that we've had so far i don't think it's like i think it's a top three um i think it goes rebirth bondo fortune's keep as the best um resurgence maps that we had uh, maybe if you want to switch back and forth but i'm very intrigued about what's going to happen uh i i wish i knew more about the new weapons as well i wish you we can talk about the new weapons a little bit more the ram uh being as an smg or even like the bp50 uh, as a new ar um, maybe those things will become meta maybe those things won't i really don't know but i think another thing they need to have is like make sure like a restriction uh items i know with warzone being a free-to-play game there will be like more open restrictions to things but i think you know we still got to make sure there is like they there there isn't going to be like shotguns um in the game like there's like uh no like fire shotguns there's gonna be like no jack purifier um whatever the mouse storm um you know what i'm saying attachment that's banned no like snake shots like a lot of those things are banned like really overpowered things that's like not competitive those don't reach the game riot shields don't reach the game as well uh, another thing that they won't have was one shot snipers which i do like there's not going to be like a one shot sniper protection now so like if you have the cat right that's still one shot snipes and you shoot them in the head it won't instant down them it actually kind of like it will break their armor but it's kind of like a protection of it 
um which i don't mind because fortune's keep like you can snipe really easily and it can be really annoying to cross or stuff like that because you know there's there is still a good amount of open area and there's still a lot of high ground um where if there's just two or three snipers looking at you or you get shot in the head one time you're gonna probably get sent there's no way you're gonna recover and you're gonna get wiped so um i think one shot snipers i think one shot snipers are really good in pubs i think for a pub aspect it should be in pubs but when it comes to a ranked aspect me personally i just think no like get your gun out like let's go let's push it let's go so that's my personal opinion with it um another thing like we'll be banned like thermals um the smoke density is not as much as like overpowered as it once was in uh the last war zone but thermals will still be banned which i do like as well so there's just a lot of nuances and different like type of play styles and that you can do in ranked um but like i said with the resurgence ranked it, it's going to be very interesting to play but i think with the future about where this is going you know if there's a world series of war zone i can see them going to resurgence now you know what i'm saying with less players um maybe they can make it a two day uh they can i don't know they can i feel like they can do so many different things now maybe personally um with the small map like like i said how apex is apex uh the competitive league is pretty big um and it's there's not as many teams i think if i'm not mistaken apex maybe has like 30 teams i i don't want to like you know what i'm saying sound stupid maybe it's a little bit more but from going from you know what i'm saying 150 players to 51 players i think it makes that just that much more better um i think there's also going to be an aspect for teams that have a higher chance of winning um in the end game and just all stuff like that but i do i i am excited and i am looking forward for the rank play portion of season two uh that's basically the biggest news we've gotten um you know what i'm saying there's gonna be other things without uh and they told us to refer to the patch notes as well so obviously i'm not gonna have them for this video but what next week when the new season drops we'll have the patch notes and everything like that so I would highly recommend for you guys to read that over just for quality of life, gameplay, the new guns, whatever the case may be you're looking for questions about, you know, you'll probably find those in the patch notes if I didn't cover just about everything I could think of. I hope you guys did enjoy the background gameplay of, you know, me showing, you know, a top five victory we had um, in rank play. Like I said, it was a lot of fun. I didn't get to use my, my own loadout, so I don't know how the gameplay will be now because um, none of us got loadouts, but it should be fire bro i'm i'm very excited i love new content i love a new and we've been asked about this for years so you know with raven software and everything like that like if you just come to them respectfully bro they they read all our stuff they take all our feedback positive or negative and uh i think rank resurgence has been talked about for a long time i know lucky has been somebody on twitter who's talked about it a lot um so now that it's actually finally here is actually crazy i didn't expect this to happen i thought it was going to be big map ranked but for it to be resurgence ranked i think the resurgence community is up they got new content uh they get a new map and they get ranked so i think that's super awesome but anyways guys i hope you did enjoy this video season two is coming out next wednesday so make sure you guys be ready for it it's gonna be a fun time it's gonna be a great vibe uh, and i'm very excited to see what's to come in the future of call of duty and uh yeah bro super dope but anyways, I hope y'all did enjoy this video, and I will catch y'all on the next one. Y'all stay smooth.